My name is Penny and this is Penny's Art Emporium. And recently I've been working on some acrylic pour painting landscapes using the plastic dip method. So this particular one, which is number 98 in my videos, was the first one that I did. And with this, I put straight over the top of another pour painting and just put the paint on in random places, but to make a sky, a horizon line and a kind of flower field. And I'm really happy with this. I really like this painting. But the way that I took the plastic wrap off of it meant that it left the dimple in the middle. I still like the painting, but it wasn't the effect that I was going for. So then I tried in my latest video, 101, which is this one. So I tried a similar idea with the sky at the top um, and sort of a flower field at the bottom. And this time I put a white base down and put some colours in to make sky colours and then the flowers at the bottom straight onto the canvas without a base. And I tried lifting the plastic wrap upwards, which left this smeary pattern at the top, which is what I intended, and with some silicone, a bubbly bit at the bottom. Um, so I'd like to, today, go a little bit further with it, just trying to perfect the technique um, I've got all these lovely colours again. I have got this 20 centimetre canvas today. And what I'm going to do is a similar thing. I think I will put a white base down first today. And then I will put kind of sky colours at the top. I want a very definite horizon line in the middle. And then I will put all the flowery colours at the bottom. But I'm going to try and experiment of putting the plastic on uh, horizontally and removing it horizontally as well. And so I think in that case, I should get horizontal lines, nice splodgy flowers at the bottom. I'm not going to use silicone this time and you should get the horizon line and hopefully the sky with the clouds kind of going across horizontally. And then after that, uh, I'll see what it looks like, but my intention today is to then add some more paint and with my sticks, my palette knife, um, add some nice tenderly bits, perhaps some flowers at the bottom. And I'm hoping by that way, we should have a really nice abstract landscape. So we will see how it all goes. As always, we never know how these things are going to turn out, but I think it will be really fun to try. So here we are. I have put my white base down. I've got my pins in my canvas underneath so it's not touching my wheel and I have put my spirit level on as well, just to make sure that it's level. So I'm going to do my horizon line first. So this is Payne's Grey. It's a Pabio one, which comes out, I think, a little bit navy blue, but I quite like that. Going to measure just to make sure that it's about the same each side. It is going to move when I spread it anyway. And then this is um, emerald green deco art extreme sheen, but it's also mixed with festive green because the emerald is not a very natural colour, I guess. It's very bright for a um, sort of a landscape type painting. This one is the Titanium Gold by Artiste. I'm just going to dot it in places. And this is 
Liquitex um, yellow green, green yellow. So that's the horizon line and I'm hoping it'll look a little bit kind of bushy when that's done. This is Sand by um, Artiste. It's a matte, opaque colour. And so that's the horizon line. For the um, bit at the bottom here, I want that to be a little bit darker. This is a sage green by Artiste. Again, it's a very matte colour. It's quite grey. But I do quite like that. And then I'll just dot on here and there. This is some emerald green. Payne's grey. I do like Payne's grey. It mixes in this type of painting really well, especially if you want a little bit of dark at the bottom. And I'll just dot in a little bit here and there. This area is going to be, hopefully, a bit of a flower scene. So I don't mind having a few darker bits in there. A bit more at the bottom here to go over the edge. This nozzle is a little bit blocked. I better not squeeze it too much, otherwise the whole thing might just explode. I'll put some more of this um, Artiste Titanium Gold at the bottom as well because this area will be a kind of an earthy kind of area. And then I think above the horizon line you can have a little bit of 24 karat gold because that might be an area where it's glistening in the sun. And I'll do a little bit of 24 karat gold along this area where the flowers will be as well. And then I think we'll do some of the sky. So I want a bit of um, blue topaz going along here. It's alright if it's in a bit of a line. And I think for this area I'm going to put it on in lines because this I want to be a bit of a cloudy sky. I love this pearl white. This is lovely and it really glistens when the painting is all dry. It just catches the light. And this one is Frosted Mint by Artiste. Uh, and this again is a really lovely colour. And then I've got a matte colour that is not metallic and this is baby blue and uh, that this one is by Artiste. I've got a few Artiste colours. They are very matte. They do not have a shine to them when they dry. So that will be the sky area. And now I'm going to put some colours on to make some flowers. Um, I'll have only a small bit of red. I'm not overly keen on red. But I'll have a little bit at the bottom, maybe a few tiny little bits around here. And because it's one of the underneath colours, it might not show quite so much. I've got some copper actually, that would be quite nice to have here at the base. It would be nice to go over the side. Um, I'm going to put some of the brighter colours on. This is the fluorescent pink, which could match in with the red a little bit. This is fluorescent orange. These are both Liquitex, so just little bits here and there. Some 
these colours are really nice. They do really brighten the whole thing up. Uh, portrait pink. I want to put some more lighter colours for the flowers towards the top of this section. I don't want to put the darker ones so much towards the top. I'll have a little bit of yellow because that'll be fine to be towards the top and a little bit at the bottom as well. A little bit in that red, perhaps a little bit in that red as well. Uh, what else shall we have? Oh, purple. Some nice purple. Again, darker bits of purple towards the bottom a little bit. Maybe just a few little bits towards the top of that. A bit at the back side. And this is the lavender in the Deco Art 24 karat gold. So I'm just going to put the lighter colours like this towards the top and not so much towards the bottom and this is the extreme sheen so it will have a really nice shimmer to it and then this is i think it's rose quartz pink again deco art and again a lighter color that i will put towards the top very pretty. Put a few little bits of green amongst here because if it's going to be like a flower garden we would have bits of green but I'm just going to use this lighter green because any of the darker colour I can always add in afterwards. bit of this um, sand in places that will help to break up any colours and a little bit of pearl particularly towards the top I think So I need to add something in the middle here and because it is meant to be like a flowery scene I think we will have a little bit of this titanium gold because this might be like a, a bit of a clearing or a path. Um, I could have a little bit of sage green. Of gold in the sky, I do like gold. A little bit of gold in the sky. Uh, maybe just a little bit of green dotted around here. So I can always add to this afterwards with my sticks and my palette knife. There. I'll spin that round for you to see. So we've got this lovely sky area. We've got this horizon line, which I'll see if I can get any more Payne's grey just down there, just to darken the whole thing down just that little bit. So a bit of an horizon line, a bit of a kind of a clearing, maybe a grassy area and the flower bit. 
So what I'm going to do today, I have got my plastic here, um, but I want to put it on sideways. I'll put some torch on. So I'm going to put it on sideways today because I think that when I put it on and I put it on to um, vertically in a way because I want to kind of spread it out this way and I do want to spread it rather than just tap it on the sky because I want those colours to blend together and go horizontally across the sky and I think they're more likely to do it if I spread it that way. This I will tap just a little bit. And the rest I will tap just a little bit. Just make sure that I get all of it all tapped down. It'll be really interesting to see how this is but my theory is by doing it this way I'm hoping we'll still get the horizon line right so it's all tapped down all those colors hopefully are where they should be and I'm going to peel it back like a sardine can, like I did with my last one. Well, it's certainly looking very pretty. It does look very pretty indeed. There, I'll give you first look at that. look very pretty. I think this edge needs to, I just need to pick up some of this paint off the side just to perhaps put some in there just where that corner is looking a little bit sparse. So I will let that settle for a little while, let all those little bubbles come to the top and I will show you that close up and then decide what to do with it. So here is this little painting. It has had time to settle and I'm very happy with how it has turned out. It definitely has come out more horizontally this time, which is what I wanted. And you can see the sky, the horizon line and the flower bed. So I have mixed up a mixed tray of paint here and I'm going to stick with my plan and add some bits of paint with my sticks and my palette knife to bring this painting to life. So I'll put this on hyperlapse for you and we'll see how this turns out.
nice little painting, 20 centimetre square. Uh, I will let you see that when it is dry because those metallic paints, particularly in the sky and on that horizon line, will be very, very pretty. And then all these little added details that I just did with my sticks and my palette knife and my mixed tray of paint there, which I like to do. So I think it'll be a really pretty little painting. So I'll let you see that when it is dry. So here is this painting now that it is dry and you can see that by doing the plastic dip like I did, I have managed to get those horizontal lines between the horizon and the sky and the flowers at the bottom. And uh, the metallic paints, as always, have come out really nicely. They give that nice shine to it. And with the time this has got a nice gloss varnish on it, it will look really nice. So just a lovely little unusual painting using that fluid art technique and then added on my little flowers with my sticks and palette knives to make some really pretty little details. So thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you again next time. Bye bye!